Susanna Reid has revealed how shooting her investigative show, The Murder of Becky Watts, police tapes left her emotionally distraught. The journalist and mother of three fronts the program, that airs Thursday evening on ITV, and was recruited to look into the horrific events surrounding the killing of the 16-year-old in 2015. As a journalist, you deal with a lot of horror, so you develop a certain armor to switch your emotions off, she told The Sun's TV magazine. But there are times when that armor just crumbles scroll. Down for video Susanna, 46, admitted that it hit home and made her think about her own children when she interviewed the victim's father Darren and stepmother Angie It does make you go home and hug your own kids that bit tighter at night because you see the true devastation of what some parents experience, she said he. I'm very grateful that I have my kids and those simple pleasures like cooking with them or just hanging out become much more important with that and Minda Shazana is mother to three sons Sam, 15, Finn, 13, and Jack, 12, and, despite her lighter gig at the co-host of Good Morning Britain, has developed a skill at covering hard-hitting stories as a journalist. But fronting this one-off documentary for ITV's crime and punishment season proved a challenge, even for the seasoned professional. The slaying of the much-loved teenager Becky Rock Bristol in February 2015 when she disappeared one day and didn't come home. A nationwide manhunt ensued for nearly a fortnight with the Watts family desperate to know what had happened to missing Becky 12 days later. Her dead body was found close to the home of Angie's son Nathan Matthews, then 28, and his girlfriend Shauna Hoare, 21, locked away in a shed. The plot thickened when it was discovered that Nathan had been responsible for his stepsister's death after he suffocated her in her bedroom. He then removed her from the family home to his own house where he dismembered her in the bath with a circular saw. He insisted that Shauna was not involved but further investigation uncovered a series of texts between the pair proving that they were disturbed. The messages featured conversations between them discussing their obsession with the idea of kidnapping teenage girls. The one-off show features Becky's family telling presenter Susanna about the impact the appalling crime has had on their lives. The new film has unprecedented access to never-before-seen footage recorded by the police at the heart of the investigation, revealing for the first time the astonishing inner workings of the case and the strategy and skill the detectives used to catch Becky's killers. The documentary lifts the lid on with the cat and mouse between the police and the suspects that played out in the interview room and the tactics that drove every step of the investigation. Susanna said when the show was announced, Hearing from a devastated family which has lost a young girl to such a shocking crime brings home how vital it is for killers to be brought to just again. In this film we see an incredibly close, eye-opening perspective on how the culprits try to cover their tracks and the way detectives use their experience, expert skills and instincts to unravel their lies and their tireless determination to uncover the truth last. November, Nathan was found guilty of murder and sentenced to life in prison with a 33-year minimum jail sentence. Shauna was found guilty of manslaughter and handed a 17-year sentence. The murder of Becky Watts, police tapes airs Thursday evening at 9 p.m. on ITV.